Hello everyone, it's Brandon here with Bootleg Boxes here with a little tutorial on how to update your uh, code breaker to the latest version. So if you are running an older version of a code breaker that's uh, not any, well it's not 10, if it's like 9.22 or anything else like that, uh, and you try to update to uh, code breaker 10 sometimes you have a few minor issues like for me it just kept crashing wouldn't load HD loader wouldn't do a dang thing so um, after searching through the internet what I found is you are going to need to delete a partition from your uh, installed hard drive so to do that I'm uh, going to go ahead and open up you launch elf uh, which is what I just did so hit circle to go to the file browser we're going to go down to misc and we're going to go to the HDD manager. In here it's going to load all of the uh, the different partitions and the names of all the games that you might have loaded onto your hard drive. So like right here we see PP, HDL, Monster Hunter, Kingdom Hearts, and so on and so forth. Um, what we're looking for is this one, the SLUS 20202.1108.pcb. That is going to be your code breaker data. Um, and sometimes, if that's an older version, then it stops uh, your PlayStation 2 from recognizing uh, it as an update. So, all we're going to need to do is go up to that. We're going to hit R1, and we're going to go ahead and just remove that. Be sure you hit remove and not format because if you format your hard drive, you're going to have to re-download all those games again. So uh, hit remove, remove current partition, OK. And that is that. So from there, uh, we are done on the PlayStation 2 for now. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the uh, PC and I'll show you how to get the files prepped and set to go. Okay, so we're back over here on the PC. I already have the files that you're going to need, and like uh, like always, they're going to be in a link uh, in my description for you to download. So these three files right here, you're going to need the uh, Code Breaker version 10, uh, ELF format only. You're going to need the Code Breaker version 10 format or uh, patcher, and you're going to need a copy of HD Loader. So uh, what we're going to start off with first is we're going to make a copy of this so that we have a backup. Always make backups. So we're just going to hit copy then paste and that's going to create something. This is cbv10copy.elf. We can leave that right down there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to code breaker if I can spell version 10 patched now we're going to open up the patching program just double click that and you're going to want to make note of this it says cb underscore launch dot elf I will get to that here in just a moment but for now all we're going to do is come down here click patch and it says you have to find the original code breaker version 10 so hit ok and then you're going to locate that on your desktop so right here is what I renamed it to double click that and there we have file patched now we are not done just yet. We're going to copy uh, the CB underscore launch, and we're going to rename our HD loader. So just paste that in there. I forgot the H, or you can type it whatever's easiest. So there we have CB underscore launch dot elf and code breaker version ten patched. Uh, the only other thing that we need is a flash drive, which I have right here. So drag these two files over. And now that that's done, we can head back over to the PlayStation 2, put them in there, and we're golden. Okay, so we're back on the PlayStation 2. I already have uh, uLaunch open, so we're going to go right into the file browser. Now be sure you've already plugged in your flash drive and we're just going to go down here to mass and there you're going to see the contents of your flash drive. We're going to need CB launch and the code breaker, both files. So hit X to select both of them and then we're going to hit R1, copy, hit triangle to go back. 
I'm going to go ahead and just store this in the first memory card slot. Go down to boot, which is where all your uh, booted uh, files and whatnot are. So hit R1, and you can just click paste. This will take a minute because uh, the file system on PlayStation 2 is incredibly slow. So it, it usually takes about a minute or two, give or take. Okay, now that that's done, uh, we're going to go through one more step so that we can add this to the PlayStation 2's menu. We're going to hit triangle, and instead of um, just restarting your PlayStation 2 manually, you can go down to MISC, and then PS2 browser. That automatically resets your PlayStation 2, brings you back to the free McBoot menu. So you're going to go down to Free McBoot Configurator, hit X, hit X again, and then we're going to go down to the OSDSYS options, hit X. We're going to go up to here to Configure Item. You're going to hit right on the D-pad until you find uh, the next available slot. Now since I've already done this, my next available slot was 8. But for you, it could look like that. It could be 8, it could be 9, it could be 6. I don't know. Um, but anyway, you're going to click X. And right here, you can put the name in. Um, some USB keyboards work just fine. Others, not so much. I just tend to use the uh, D-pad here because, well, it's right there. So after you have the name set, we're going to hit Start, go to OK. And path number 1. We're going to lead that to the memory card. Down to Boot. And here it is, Codebreaker V10 patched. And you can add two more paths if you'd like, if you have it on a second memory card or if you have it on um, a flash drive that you're going to have constantly plugged in. We're going to go to Return, down to Return again. And be sure you save the CNF to MC0. Without doing that, this will not work. So once that sa is saved, we're going to uh, go back down to the PS2 browser, which is FMCB, Free McBoot, Restart. And there we have that. We're going to go all the way down here. And there you have it. Code breaker right there. I'll go ahead and run it just so you can see how it works. Okay, so configuration has changed or been updated. Do you want to save configuration? Hit yes. So from here, um, you can see everything is pretty much the same basic setup. Uh, I'm just going to test a game real say, hmm. Let's go to Zone at the End Runner. Okay, level up for max level. Sure. Quick. Yeah, okay. Max, no. Yeah, okay, whatever. Actually, that one says non-savable, so I don't think we're going to do that. So, um, after you have the codes that you want selected, we're going to hit Start. We're going to go over to Start Game, hit X. It'll open up the disk tray automatically. Uh, you can change the options so that what doesn't do that, but uh, I'm not that worried about it right now. So, hit X again. It'll close the disk tray, and it will boot into HD Loader. 
from here go all the way down for me it's gonna be right there go ahead and start the game and right off the bat you can see right here the extra missions is uh, uh, open and available Hmm. Now the problem is, uh, yep. Let me see something. Make sure I have a save game so you guys can see the code's actually working. Huh. Well, you, I don't want to make you trudge through the opening uh, sequence of the game, but just take my word that the codes will work. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you liked my videos and you want to see more, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, well, there is another thing right here. JHUT ver version 2 with the zero shift and whatnot. Um, yep, there we go. So, that right there shows that, uh, the code breaker is going to give me all the old equipment, but I'd have to go through the intro, which I'm not going to do. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you later.